how does Einstein's relativity theory link back to manifestation and the theory of having multiple realities? Why is everything possible? And why do we philosophize about life being an illusion? The combination of science and spirituality is like combining ratio and feelings. It's like yin and yang. They're connected, but at the same time also mutually exclusive because we're talking about the physical and the metaphysical here. Now I am drawing a link here, a link that I see between Einstein's relativity theory, having studied the science of that, and the concepts that we know in spirituality about manifestation and trying to align to the right frequency using your emotions, and the theory of multiple realities, which is every possibility or every possible outcome of your life and all of our lives already exists. And it is our power, our manifestation power, or our gravity, as I'll explain in this video, that attracts the desired reality towards us. If we use that power to our advantage, we might also be attracting undesired realities at this point, and how you can use this knowledge to draw in the right reality, or just your desired outcomes into your life. My name is Davy. I am a PhD student in chemical engineering at the University of Cambridge. In my free time, I love to study the law of attraction spirituality, manifestation, the psychology of the mind. And as a scientist, I love linking back science to manifestation. Before I get into it, people always hold this high ground of science, you know, as if it is the ultimate truth, but it is just an attempt to describe reality. I first want to talk about Einstein's relativity theory, and then I want to link this back to manifestation and the theory of multiple realities. And finally, I'll explain how you can use this knowledge to manifest anything that you desire. What Einstein postulated with his relativity theory is that we live in a four-dimensional world. We have the three dimensions of space, X, Y, Z, and the fourth dimension that we have is time. And this four dimensions combined is what we call the space-time reality, which is where we exist in, right? That is our physical world, space-time. What Newton established before Einstein is that there is this force called gravity that makes the planets orbit around the sun or the moon orbit around the earth. There's this attractive force and it is even keeping us on this earth. Even though Newton established the existence of gravity, he never really described what this force was based on. Where, where does this attractive force come from? And then Einstein, when he developed the relativity theory, took a look at it and was like, well, what is in between the bodies? What is in between a star and a planet that orbit around each other? Well, that's one thing and that is space. Now, what is keeping this orbit in check? What Einstein discovered is that what masses actually do, it curves space and time. So when we have the mass in the middle, it could be a planet, it curves space and time in such a way that other celestial bodies get caught up in it. There is this mass that curves space and time in a specific way, and the other celestial bodies are captured in this curvature. So this force that we call gravity, it is actually just the mass that has a space and time around it and curves the fabric of space and time and then captures other planets or celestial bodies stuck in that sort of web that it made. So gravity is this force that describes how mass or energy wrap space and time around them. Time is relative to the mass or to the energy. Now, how do I want to link this back to manifestation? We think of time as this sequential thing where one event follows after the other. But what if time is static? Everything already exists, the present moment, the future and the past, and it is us that is moving through realities. What Einstein described in his E is MC squared is that energy and mass are interchangeable and every body that has mass or has an energy has a specific gravitational force and all that means is that it has a way of curving space and time. If we make the assumption here, which has been measured, that emotions are energy as well, which is the energy that we give to thoughts. If we apply the fact that everything that has energy has a gravitational pull to it, we can assume that our emotions or the frequency of our thoughts also have a specific gravitational pull to it. That is our manifestation power. That is our point of attraction. So everything that possesses energy has a way of curving space-time. Now, what is between us and our desires? What is between us and our desired reality? 
space and time? And what can we use to attract specific realities into our physical reality right now? Our attraction, our emotions, our manifestation force. We know that if we sit with a thought and try to tune in, so try to feel the emotions as if that thought is true, we attract that reality into our existence. Now, the theory of multiple realities is that time is static. All realities and all possibilities exist as a sort of big web. You see this in the movie, everything, everywhere, all at once. Every reality exists and it is us that is moving through space and time and the way we move in this web of realities we can influence with our choice, with our energy, with the way we gravitationally pull specific realities towards us. So we always see time as this sort of sequential thing. But what if time is static and everything already exists and it is us sort of moving through realities that is creating the concept of time. We are moving through space and time. So it is relative to us, to our energy. Now, this is very esoteric. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you're still following this or if I'm going crazy. Now, what can you do with this information? How can you use this to manifest your desires? What I want you to understand understand is that every reality already exists. If you can hold it in the mind, if you can think of it, if you can visualize a specific reality, that means there is a channel of that reality that exists. And don't confuse reality with physical reality, right? It is not a reality where you are living in a physical world. It goes beyond space and time. So it is not part of our physical 3D world or 4D world here. We are the ones moving through this 4D reality. But we do have the choice we do have the choice. If all realities already exist, the positive ones, the negative ones, the ones where you're a millionaire, the ones where you're broke, if all of these possibilities and realities exist, it is up to us to choose, to choose which reality we can tune into. For example, when we watch a movie, Time is sequential, right? And we see it in a specific order. But the movie is already recorded. The movie itself only exists in one time point. It is already all recorded, but we watch it sequentially. And that is the same with your life. You're watching frames in a specific order, but now it is up to us to take that power to choose which path we want to take, which realities we want to tune into. All of them exist. And isn't this a comfortable feeling where everything is possible, all possible realities? If you can hold it in the mind, there's a reality that exists where you have those desires or whatever you visualize. And it is up to us to align our energy to that. So what I really want you to take away from this is literally the endless possibilities of the universe and understanding that there is already a reality where you have your desires. All possibilities exist in this infinite quantum web of realities. And it is for us to curve space-time in the appropriate way with our gravitational pulling force to attract the right reality that we desire into our life. And if we don't, we don't, that's fine as well. We just flow through different realities based, still based on our thoughts and assumptions, but we just do it subconsciously. With manifestation, we take back that conscious power of choosing which reality we want to tune into, understanding the infinite possibilities of the universe. And this is related to entropy, to chaos, right? To the feminine energy, to creation, everything is possible. And then using our masculine energy, our actions and our force to attract the appropriate reality into our physical existence. And we here in the present moment can use our gravitational force or our emotions, our power, our attraction force to sort of navigate ourselves through the right order of realities that we want to go through. So people that think everything is written, everything is predefined, yes, in a way it is, because everything is possible, but it is not predefined which realities you choose. So yes, everything is written, everything, it has already happened, you know, all realities already exist in the mind, but we can still use our choice, our free will to attract the desired realities into our physical world. And also understand that nothing is per definition true. It's just our thoughts about it that make it true. It is our consciousness. It is what we believe becomes the truth. If we worry, oh, did a friend forget us? Or did this happen? Or, oh, will I have a bad day at work? Or every worry, you're creating it. It wasn't true before you thought it. You thinking it made it true, right? So really be aware of what beliefs you hold about reality. Because that is your gravitational pull. You're wasting it. You're wasting your gravitational 
gravitational power. And whilst we have the power to take back that choice that we have, understand the infinite possibilities of the universe, understand that a thought is just a direction. It is just like entering a destination in Google Maps. All destinations and places and roads exist on the earth, right? They're all there, but you choose a specific one. You're entering a specific destination in Google Maps that you want to go towards. Does that mean that all others don't exist anymore? No, it doesn't. They're still there, but you're physically going to one location. Well, that is how I want you to think about manifestation. All realities exist, all destinations exist, yeah? But you are using the power now to say which destination you want to go towards and use your emotions, your gravitational pull to tune into that reality because we are moving through time. It is not time that is moving forward. We are moving through time, through our energy and through our decisions and our consciousness. Now, that was my first initial rant on combining Einstein's relativity with manifestation and the theory of multiple realities. Let me know what you thought about this. I would love, love, love to read the comments and see what you guys think. And definitely leave me a like. If you found this interesting and you wanna see more, uh, subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate that. Sending you all my love. 